Thank you very much uh, for inviting me to share with you our findings about uh, measles vaccine hesitancy in Sudan. I would start by uh, this map which shows how measles is uh, sustained rises in all regions of the world. And even in Sudan, one of the countries that suffered a lot from significant outbreaks <coughs> And the cases exceeded 6,000 uh, cases of measles. You might be familiar with this graph, which shows the relationship between uh, the vaccine coverage and the rate of disease. Uh, but we, in Sudan, we have different stories. As you can see, this graph shows a uh, uh, measles vaccine coverage for the first dose and the second dose. Also, it shows the number of measles cases during the same period uh, in the last 12 years. Uh, we can conclude from this graph by saying that there is no relationship between uh, measles uh, cases and the vaccine coverage, which uh, reflects that there is a need to address the issue of uh, quality of data. The immunity profile of measles cases in Sudan uh, in 10 years shows that uh, most of the cases were not vaccinated by any dose of measles, uh, and also uh, only one-fifth to, to uh, one-third of the cases were only vaccinated with single dose of measles vaccine. The EBI program in uh, Sudan started in uh, 1976, and all services are provided free of charge uh, through the primary health care centers. And the vaccine coverage for bentavalent vaccine and uh, OBV are about 95%. However, for measles vaccine, uh, we have uh, uh, using uh, multi-doses vial, which she uh, restricted by open vial policy. So only one to two uh, sessions per week allowed for measles vaccination. The study that I'm going to present its finding today uh, is part of large uh, research project, uh, which is my PhD project. It uh, uh, using mixed methods to address research gap in vaccine hesitancy in Sudan generally and measles vaccine hesitancy in Khartoum state. We used uh, to uh, investigate vaccine hesitancy in Khartoum state because we think that uh, all, the, all the cases, uh, uh, sorry, all the uh, vaccination services are available and so this will allow us to study vaccine hesitancy. Our uh, first paper that published uh, recently in Plus One Journal uh, aimed to explore the perspective of EBI officers and experts, uh, as well as frontline vaccine providers about determinant of measles vaccine hesitancy in Khartoum State. We used qualitative method to interview 14 participants from the both groups. We used determinant of vaccine hesitancy matrix uh, uh, as a model framework for this study to develop our questions and to analyze our data. And <clears throat> this uh, model, uh, as you know, that developed by SAGE working groups, uh, and it distinguishes between three groups of determined contextual influences, uh, individual social group influences, and vaccine and vaccination specific issues. We summarized our data uh, by using this graph, which shows different factors with different colors. Uh, the participant uh, from the both group, frontline uh, vaccine providers and the EBI ex expert, agreed that the main contextual factors is the presence of individuals who can be qualified 
to be anti-vaccination. Uh, those people uh, belong to uh, some specific religious and ethnic groups. Some experts on immunization uh, attributed this refusal to blaming manufacturing countries as some religious group talked about Freemasons and infidel states which bring vaccines. Also, the participant, uh, especially uh, the EBI experts, uh, agreed that the individual group uh, influences are also including individual beliefs and attitude about measles treatment and prevention from measles as causal factor for measles vaccine hesitancy. Uh, as some groups uh, think that uh, measles is, is a common household disease so that every child should contract so there is no need to vaccinate them. Interestingly, we, st we found in our study that measles vaccine is scheduled in the 9th and the 18 months doses, uh, as well as uh, open viral policy, uh, constitute other form of so-called passive vaccine hesitancy, which he often is considered as related to access issues. As parents sometimes are actively trying to vaccinate their uh, kids uh, with measles vaccine, but are turned but are turned because uh, the provider refuses to open the measles vaccine vial, which contain 10 doses, uh, and due to open vial policy. This is resulting in a missed opportunity to vaccine. We would conclude by saying that our study shows how complex measles hesitancy in Sudan and how much variation there uh, is regarding the perceived causes and consequences. Uh, negative beliefs and attitude of people, uh, parents, uh, and guardians are important, but vaccination program aspects should not be neglected. There is a clear need to study uh, vaccine hesitancy in more details among parents and guardians of the children. We would recommend uh, that communication strategies are needed uh, to address the concerns that are raised by some religious and ethnic groups. Also, appropriate interventions are needed to address different beliefs related to measles in order to increase the measles vaccine coverage. We also recommend at the program level uh, to address issues related to uh, measles vaccine hesitancy or measles vaccine schedule as we can use parent reminder system including calls and text message. Uh, also, uh, revisiting the open vial policy is much needed in Sudan, as our study showed that uh, this issue is, is, is uh, related mostly with measles vaccine hesitancy in Sudan. Uh, thank you very much.